morning, everyone. My name is Song Chul Kim, Deputy Director at the Ministry of Economy and Finance of the Republic of Korea. It's a great pleasure to be speaking to you today, and this is the investor presentation for Republic of Korea at uh, 2020 uh, co uh, Global Corporate IR by the Bell. Uh, this presentation is divided into three parts. I will first focus on Korea's response to COVID-19, followed by an overview of Korean economy, which demonstrates Korea's fundamental strength and resilience. Lastly, I will briefly discuss Korea's credit. Let me start by introducing Korea's COVID-19 response. Korea was hit early by COVID-19 in February, but responded quickly and managed to flatten the disease curve in only 20 days without a nationwide lockdown. After April, new confirmed cases dropped significantly to around 20 per day. In August, Korea faced a resurgence of virus as daily new confirmed cases number once jumped to mark over 400. But again, thanks to Korea's effective response, new cases have gradually slowed down and declined to around 100 within two weeks. The left figure shows that while many parts of the world, including the US and Europe, are facing the resurgence of COVID-19 infections with an emergency measures, such as reimposed economic lockdowns, Korea is faring well enough to alleviate its pandem pandemic uh, prevention and control measures. In addition, compared to other countries, as you see on the top right, Korea's number of deaths and new cases per million population is also at an extremely low level. This page explains what was behind Korea's effective COVID-19 response model. Since the outbreak, Korea quickly doubled down on a government-wide response, making all-out efforts to prevent the spread. Korea introduced a series of health and quarantine measures, including the strategy of the three T's which stands for test, trace, and treatment. Korea conducted broad and innovative testing of people, such as drive-through and walk-through screening centers. The drive-through testing scheme is also seen as a quick and safe screening method, which has been benchmarked widely by others, and it is now an international standard. In addition, Korea is undertaking rigorous investigations to tracing virus and treating patients and our COVID-19 response teams with high performance tracing tools led to speed, speedy identification and quarantine of patients. Also, a well-developed public health system and early treatment of patients have led to high recovery and fatality rates uh, and, uh, sorry, and low fatality rates. It was also critical to raise public awareness and ask voluntary cooperation of the general public. And thanks to the public's active participation in wearing masks, as mentioned in the previous slide, we have seen uh, progress in virus containment. In terms of the economic policy response, the Korean government has been putting all out efforts to support the economy and stabilize the financial market using fiscal and monetary measures. First, Korean government actively implemented fiscal policies, including four additional supplementary budgets. In addition, monetary policy has been kept accommodative by cutting the policy rate to an all-time low level. Also, FX market remained stable on the basis of Korea's strong fundamentals, such as low external debt, sufficient FX reserves, and continued current account surplus. This was also accompanied by additional measures, such as a $60 billion currency swap with the US Fed and US dollar funding scheme for local financial institutions. Uh, this slide ex explains Korea's financial measures in response to COVID-19. Fiscal policy actions were swift and effective, and variety of countermeasures were implemented to support the economy. Korea distributed a fourth supplementary budget to help people financially from the COVID-19 pandemic. 
It is the, it, it's the first time in 59 years that South Korea has earmarked four batches of extra, extra budget in a single fiscal year. These measures were proved to be efficient. The left figure shows G20 countries' fiscal spending and the GDP growth rate in the third quarter 2020, from the end of last year. Korea saw a small GDP contraction in 2020, while fiscal spending amount was just 12th among, among the G20 countries. This shows Korea has achieved re relatively better outcome using less fiscal spending. I'd also like to point out that the government's strong response was also made possible by Korea's healthy fiscal position. On the monetary policy front, the current policy rate is kept an, at an all-time low, low of 0.5%, as a result of two timely late cut by the Bank of Korea in March and May this year. In line with the US Fed and central banks from other advanced countries, the BOK also introduced unconventional measures to defend the economy and stabilize the market. Measures include providing unlimited liquidity through repurchasement agreement and engaging in corporate bond purchases. Thanks to these efforts, Korean financial market quickly stabilized. Based on Korea's successful virus containment, attributed by the rapid and effective response, international institutions like OECD and IMF expect Korea's growth rate to outperform others. The graph on the left-hand side displays OECD's, OECD's latest 2020 GDP projection in the downward revision after COVID-19. Uh, Korea is expected to have the smallest contraction among 37 member countries, thus located the on the top right corner, which puts itself as a notable outlier. In line with OECD, the right-hand side figure shows that IMF also estimated Korea to achieve the highest growth rate among the advanced economies. Key international organizations have also recognized Korea's outstanding performance. Uh, for example, World Health Organization, organization applauded Korea has developed an innovative testing strategy and that WHO could apply, could apply the lessons from Korea. Next, OECD placed Korea at number one among the OECD countries responding to COVID-19 and the World Bank cited Korea's successful response and named Korea as a COVID-19 safe spot. More recently, Morgan Stanley a Global Investment Bank expect Korea to transition from a phase of below trend growth in 2020 to a Goldilocks phase in 2021. According to each report, a Korea economies would see a combination of accelerating an above tr growth trend, rising but still benign inflation, and big each policies in 2021. Uh, lastly, on Korea's COVID-19 response, this page briefly shows how Korea is looking ahead to the post-COVID era. Korea is the first country already looking ahead to the post-COVID-19 world in July. Korea's new development strategy, named Korean New Deal, is a paradigm shift towards becoming a first mover in the post-COVID world, composed of digital new deal, green new deal, and stronger safety net. First, digital new deal is to accelerate the transition towards a digital economy, which could be further categorized into digital network and AI. Second, green new deal facilitates the movement towards a low carbon society post-COVID-19. Key projects include developing eco-friendly infrastructure and supporting eco-friendly automotive. Lastly, it aims to reinforce inclusiveness for socially more vulnerable groups who could easily be left out from the structural changes. Measures include strong employment and social safety net systems. Until 2025, the New Deal is expected to create a total of 1.9 million jobs 
and OECD has evaluated the project would have higher fiscal multiplier for the overall economy. Now, let us move on to the fundamental of the Korean economy. Let me start off by the providing you with a snapshot of Korea. Located at a strategically important seaway of Northeast Asia, Korea is at a unique geographical location, neighboring Japan to the east and China to the west. Uh, we boast a GDP and GNI per capita over 30,000 US dollars, uh, also maintaining a strong credit profile. As you see here on the left, Korea is currently the 12th largest economy with the ninth largest trade volume in the world. Korea is also one of the seven countries in the 3050 club, a population of over 50 million with per capita income of over $30,000 like the G7 countries. This slide shows real GDP growth rate of Korea and other OECD members where we have been outpacing our peer group. As mentioned earlier, this year the global economy has experienced an unprecedented shock. But despite the downturn, our growth rate has remained resilient and it is one of the highest among OECD members. As you can see on the left, for 2020, Korea's growth rate is forecast about negative 1.5%, significantly higher than IMF advanced economy's average growth rate expected at negative 5.9% to 7.5%. Furthermore, in terms of combined GDP of 2020 and 2021, Korea is one of the few countries among the OECD members anticipated to record positive growth and recover to pre-COVID levels next year. To highlight on our recovery momentum in exports, uh, while the global economy's downturn has inevitably led to a decrease in our export as well, the extent of decline has become, become much softer in the first half of this year, and recently, uh, Korea's export rose 7.7% on yearly basis in September, rebounding for the first time after COVID-19. Average daily export is recording the first expansion in nine months with a 5.6% rise in October, adding to recent signs that Korea is seeing a moderate recovery. In addition, Korea's current account surplus widened to two-year high in September on the back of rebound in exports despite the COVID-19 pandemic. By export destina destinations, the key trading partners include China and the US, but we, or we also have a diversified list of countries, many of which are covered by bilateral FTAs. Korea's healthy fiscal position further contributes to its resilience. Our gross government debt is at about 40% of GDP, an extremely robust position compared to other countries. As you can see on the top right hand corner, IMF predicts gross debt of the advanced economies to rise globally this year. But our level is still expected to remain prudent with a six, six to seven percent point increase, far below the advanced economies average of 20 percent point increase. Such low government debt leaves sufficient room for fiscal expansionary policies to recover its the economy in re response to the pandemic. Gross debt will rise in responding to COVID-19, but we expect the spending to ease economic downturn and ultimately prevent additional increase in debt position. Korea's economy is also keeping robust external soundness. Current account is celebrating surplus for uh, 22 consecutive years accumula accumulating net external assets at a rapid pace. In the top right figure, the net international investment position is on a growing trend since 2014 and was at 30% uh, of total GDP in 2019. Our external debt structure is solid as well. The proportion of uh, short-term external debt against total external debt as well as FX reserves, are both maintained at low and safe levels. This external soundness is further underpinned by ample FX reserve, 
which recorded $427 billion in October, making Korea the ninth largest worldwide. Korea also has a safety net of multiple currency swaps with other central banks, including US Fed, which supplies adequate FX liquidity in cases of any emergencies. The total volume of currency swaps is now $196 billion plus alpha, including Canada without a limit. The Korean government pays attention to our international ratings and keeps constructive dialogue with the rating agencies. The current AA credit ratings represent Korea in line with most of the developed countries, including France. And it, it is worth to note that Korea is the only AA rated country who saw rating upgrades by both Moody's and S&P since the 2008 global financial crisis. While major economies have seen their credit ratings downgrade this year in the aftermath of COVID-19, international rating agencies have affirmed Korea's ratings thanks, thanks to the government's eff effective responses and external credibility on the Korean economy. In the following section, I have summarized the key points about the Korean credit. This slide displays uh, strong performance of Korea CDS. As you see on the left-hand side, Korea CDS premium has tightened to its pre-COVID level and is moving in line with other AA-rated developed markets. Also, while currencies in emerging markets have depreciated, Korean won has strengthened after showing similar movement with other developed market currencies. Furthermore, foreign portfolio investments in Korean treasury bonds have shown a record levels of net inflow in contrast to the emerging market countries, showing a net outflow. Korea's credit quality is more distinct when compared with other countries. On the left chart, we measured external stability by current account surplus and external debt. On the right-hand side, internal stability is measured by fiscal balance and inflation. As you can see, compared to our global peers, Korea is highly ranked in terms of current account and fiscal balance, while our external debt is maintained at a low level. This page shows the list of foreign currency bonds in Asia available for investment. As you can see from the list, Korea's AA rating are higher than that of Japan as well as China. From investors' perspective, Korea's foreign currency bond offers attractive investment opportunity as being the top Asian sovereign bond available. We have been able to confirm the overseas investors' positive assessment by recent successful issuance of Korean government bond in September. The 10-year dollar-denominated bond carries its record low yield, and the five-year euro, five euro-denominated bond comes with negative 0.059%. This was the first time that non-European state sold euro-denominated bonds with a negative yield, and it paved the way for bond issuance for Korean companies. Despite the global economy uncertainties triggered by COVID-19, Many overseas investors have showed pace, a face for the Korean economy. This is the end of my presentation, and I hope you now have a better understanding about Korea's robust credit. Thank you very much for your attention.